Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about current and charge. Now current, also known as the letter I, is something we talk about in circles about flowing electrons and flowing charged particles and current is measured in amps. Okay, I'm going to call amps here and that is A. And current is the rate of change of um, charge. And we represent charge by this letter Q here. And when I say rate of change, it means it's divided by the change in time. Another way you may have seen this formula is that the charge is I times T. So current depends on how much charge passes a point in one second. So if in one second I have 10 nanocoulombs of charge, okay, I would have a current of 10 times 10 to the minus 9 of, divided by 1, which is 10 times 10 to the minus 9 amps. I could work out how many electrons that were by knowing that one electron has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So if I took this number and divided it by this number, I could work out how many electrons that was. So 10 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 and that equals grabbing a calculator. So 10 times 10 to the 10 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 is 6.25 times 10 to the 10 electrons. So current is the rate of flow of charge. And if in one second I have 10 nanocoulombs passing, I would have a current of 10 nanoamps. To work out how many electrons that would be, I took that number, okay, I, I took the um, <clears throat> value of my charge, which was 10 nanocoulombs here, and I divided it by the charge on the electron. And it gave me 6.25 times 10 to the 10. So this is how many electrons are causing this current here. So you can imagine when you see things that are 2 amps, okay, that means in one second, two coulombs are passing by, okay? So if I just do this in here, if I had two amps, that means I will have two coulombs in one second. Two coulombs is, let's look at how many electrons that is. So two divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 so 2 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 is 1.25 times 10 to the positive 19 electrons. So as you can see, when you have a very big current, you've got loads of electrons passing by. But when I have a very low current of here of 10 nanoamps, which is 10 nanocoulombs, I have a much smaller value of electrons passing by. It's important to note that amps here is what we call a base SI unit. Okay, so a base SI unit is one of the seven SI units that you need to use. So amps here is the base SI and not coulombs. Okay, so putting coulombs in base SI, since charge is I times T, amps, and that is seconds, amp seconds is the value, the base SI units for charge. And that is current and charge. <laughs> 